Hi, today we will talk about the manufacturing of soft drink. First, let me tell a fact about soft drink. The first marketed soft drink appeared in the 17th century as a mixture of water and lemon juice sweetened with honey. Now, I am going to talk about the process of manufacturing soft drink. The quality of water is crucial to the success of a soft drink. Impurity such as sustainable particles, organic matter, and bacteria may degrade taste and color. Therefore, the water will first go through a clarifying process and dechlorination process. They are generally removed through the traditional process of a series of coagulation, filtration, and chlorination. Then, the water will be transferred to a mixing tank in order to mix the ingredients such as syrup before going to the carbonator. After the carbonating process, the drink will be sent to filling and packaging in order to go out to the market. In this video, we will be focusing about the mixing tank, the carbonator tank, pasteurization, and the filling machine. Now, I'm gonna talk about what is a carburetor in this industry. A carbonator is an apparatus for carbonating that is impregnating liquid with carbon dioxide. In the mixing of carbonator unit, the absorber carbon dioxide is dissolved under high pressure in the cool liquid. So, what are the controls that need to take into consideration during this process? First, it will be the amount of CO2 dissolved in the soft drink. Second, it will be the pressure of carbon dioxide injected into the carbonator. And third, it will be the temperature of liquid before entering the carbonator. The amount of CO2 dissolved in the soft drink and the pressure of CO2 will be the control variable. And the flow rate of the CO2 and the compressed gas will be the manipulated variable. When the amount of CO2 dissolved or the pressure of CO2 drop, the analyzer transmitter and the flow transmitter will send a signal to a comparator and the comparator will calculate the error between the set point and the signal received. The flow controller and the feedback controller will monitor output and give a correct output to the valve and the compressor. The actuator in the valve and the compressor will adjust according to the signal given. For the pressure, there will be an extra transducer to change the milliampere signal into a pneumatic signal. According to research article, the CO2 dissolves better in liquid at low temperature. So to make sure that the soft drinks are always in low temperature condition, a thermocouple and a heat exchanger in, is needed to ensure that the soft drinks are always in the fixed temperature before entering the carbonator. The control variable during this time will be the temperature of soft drink and the manipulated variable will be the flow rate of coolant and there will be a disturbance variable which is the heat loss or gain to and from the surrounding. When temperature of the soft drink increase, the temperature transmitter will be sending the signal to the comparator in the form of electrical current. The comparator will compare and calculate the error between the set point and the signal received. The controller will be give out correct output to the valve for the coolant to increase the flow rate of the coolant and cool down the soft drink to allow CO2 dissolve better. We will introduce about the mixing tank. For mixing tank, there are three types of mixing tank in the process, which is batch mixing tank, recipe mixing tank, and continuous mixing tank. The batch mixing tank and recipe mixing tank will be connected to continuous mixing tank. Each of these tanks 
you have process control in level. Now, we will introduce about the pasteurization. It is a modified heat exchanger that commonly used in beverage industry. There are two types of pasteurization, which is tunnel pasteurization and fresh pasteurization. It is mainly used for temperature control in manufacturing. It is used to cool down or heat up the solution. First, we will talk about the level control in the mixing tank. The objective of this control is to prevent the tank to outflow, maintain the cleanliness, and prevent unnecessary loss. To control the mixing tank, manipulation of the flow rate of the material such as syrup, water, and acid from other tank will be needed. The level transmitter will detect the maximum level in the tank and send signal to the control valve and once the control valve is received, the tank will be automatically closed to prevent the outflow. The disturbance of this process is the flow rate of the inlet stream. Next, we will talk about the temperature control in the pasteurization. The objective of this temperature control is to ensure the quality and the taste of the drink. This is because some of the drink may only dissolve in specific temperature and too high temperature in the solution will cause the CO2 content to be decreased. To control the temperature, feedback system is used in this process. The transmitter will detect the minimum and maximum temperature of the solution in the inlet of pasteurization and send signal to manipulate the flow rate of cold and hot fluid using flow rate controller. The flow rate controller will control the valve for hot fluid and cold fluid. The disturbance of this control is the flow rate and temperature of the inlet stream and also the pressure. Now, we will be talking about the feeding machine is soft drink manufacturing process. Filling machine is the machine used in soft drink manufacturing where the liquid is being filled into the bottles. The filling machine can transfer the carbonated drinks into the bottles with high precision, high speed, and high accuracy. It can also ensure constant volume in every bottle as well as maintaining the texture of the carbonated drinks. The working principle of the filling machine is that it equalizes the pressure in the container and the pressure in the filling head space. One of the most important parts of the filling machine is the valve. The valve is used to control the flow rate of the liquid when filling into the bottles. When the filling machine is filling a new empty bottle, the valve is fully open as the pressure difference is huge. As the bottle is being filled, the pressure difference decreases thus causing the valve to close accordingly. When the pressure difference is finally zero, the valve will be fully closed as well. What are the process control needed in order to maintain precise fit? The main objective of the control system is to control the level of liquid inside the bottle. The level control mechanism is used through pressure difference as mentioned before. In order to maintain the ratio of desired pressure, ratio station is applied to disturbance to obtain 
ratio gain for the level control. This form of ratio control enables detection of pressure difference. The output of ratio So, what are the advantages of pressure control mechanism? Pressure control mechanisms are more stable as it is not affected by the liquid's physical property. It can also equalize the carbonation pressure during the process. It also has fast and accurate filling and only some simple adjustment is needed to suit different types of bottles, beverage and filling zone. These are the all four components that we cover in this video. Besides of this component, there are many more different types of components that is used in this manufacturing. Process control will be needed to apply in this process to ensure the quality of the product. With a well-designed process control, a good quality drinks can be enjoyed by the people.